So a few weeks ago, I made a video on why I thought Spotted Leaf's relationship with Firestar was kinda pointless. But it got me thinking, if Firestar's childhood crush is weird, then what about his actual long-term relationship? Does Sandstorm make for an interesting character to pair alongside Firestar, or is she boring and underdeveloped? I mean, one thing I do like about her is that she's not afraid to speak up when she disagrees with Firestar, but at the same time, a lot of the conflicts they share are rather petty. Let's just think about this. Hi everyone, Akira here. If you like Warrior Cats, be sure to subscribe to help me get 100k. Now let's talk Sandstorm. When Firepot first joins ThunderClan, Sandpot and Despot are a serious pair of haters. On multiple occasions, the two cats make fun of Firepot's kitty pet roots, which I imagine has something to do with the way they were raised. Since Pinestar became a kitty pet, I think disdain for house cats just echoed through to the next generation. So neither of them are hateful to the core, they're just annoying little brats who will learn their manners as they grow up. The difference between Sampa and Despa is that Sampa gets past this phase much faster. It takes the dramatic event of Fireheart saving Sampa from falling off a cliff, but she realizes that Fireheart's origin has absolutely nothing to do with his heart and his skill. So comes the splitting of Sampa and Despa's friendship. Despa continues to mock Fireheart, while Sampa sees him differently, and she gets sick of her friend's constant hate, leading her to spend time with Fireheart more often, and ignore Despa's attempts to get her to join him in teasing Fireheart. She pushes Despa away, leaving him with sadness and envy. I could talk further on how this affected Despa, but that would be better fit for a separate video. So Sandstorm only gets closer and closer to Fireheart, and when Graystripe runs off to RiverClan they spend a considerable amount of time with each other. Sandstorm is rather attached to Fireheart, which is only broken by the few times they disagree and fight with each other. They argue when Fireheart says no one in the clan is close to him after Graystripe leaves. They argue on whether to save Cloudpaw. They argue about Blue Star, And they argue when Fireheart doesn't give Sandstorm an apprentice and each of these times they almost immediately apologize and make up. And I mean, voicing concerns and working out disagreement show a healthy relationship, but I can't help but feel something is missing. And then it hits me. The stuff they talk about. It's all Fireheart's problems. Graystripe, Cloudpot, and Fireheart's deputy duties? Like, Sandstorm's entire character is being Firestar's girlfriend. Poor Sandstorm. Her only notable ambition in the first arc outside of Firestar is her desire to have an apprentice. She grows so much from her hateful young self just to become Firestar's shadow. And I know it's hard for cats to have personal ambitions in warrior clans as aside from leaders, deputies, and medicine cats, they very much focus on collective achievement, but I can't help but feel disinterested in Sandstorm when 90% of her time in the books is spent comforting Firestar. Cinderpelt had to battle with their dreams being crushed due to her injury. Cloudtail had to battle with the temptations of the easier kitty pet life. But Sandstorm just had to battle with the fact that Fireheart didn't want to give her Tawny Paw as an apprentice. And then there's the Firestar's Quest Super Edition. Again, she is the accessory character to Firestar. The most notable drama that shakes up their relationship in this book, I covered in my Spotted Leaf video. There's just this weird tension because Firestar liked this now long dead ghost cat before her. It's just silly that Firestar still had these feelings when he and Spotlight never really had any connection beyond a few flashy dreams. I'd be frustrated too if I was Sandstorm. So I guess the only way to truly see Sandstorm shine as Sandstorm rather than just Firestar's wife would be to remove Firestar from the equation, even if it was just for one book. And we got exactly that with The Vision of Shadows Book 1, The Apprentice's Quest. I don't think enough people realize just how important this book was to Sandstorm. Aside from just giving her the proper send-off, we finally see her do something for herself. Did Alderpaw and the others really need her to find SkyClan? No. One, they made it to SkyClan's camp even after she died. And two, SkyClan wasn't even in their camp. So that wasn't the point of her coming. She went on the journey because she wanted to. She wanted to go on one last adventure rather than just rot away in the Elder's Den. 
She shows so much strength as she pushes forward despite the pain she experiences along the way, and so much wisdom as she guides older Pa. And when she does die, she says she died as she wanted to, doing something important and reliving a special memory she had with Firestar. That's who Sandstorm is. She likes to get out there and help others. That's why she was so fixed on getting an apprentice in her early years. So yes, she spent a lot of time in Firestar's shadow, but that's okay because she never needed the spotlight. She just needed to be close to the cat she loved. And she just wanted to support him so he in turn could support all of ThunderClan. So could we have gotten more from Sandstorm? Absolutely. But thanks to the Apprentice's quest, we do still have a lot to take away from her. And that's awesome.